How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. What happened? Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Medication and drugs are a rare commodity in East London. So you picked an easy target, didn't you? Shut off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Goodbye, young man. Wet boots will be proud of me. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. Who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. And no one can help me. Not even you. What is it, Benjamin? It was the war, wasn't it? Your nerves are shot, aren't they? I need some answers, Private. From one soldier to another. The doctors called me a liar. A coward. Put me in a straight jacket, locked me up. Finally, they sent me back to the front lines with a handful of tablets. Yes. Sounds like shell shock. I've seen a few cases like yours. This is nothing you should be ashamed of, Benjamin. And it's perfectly natural in your situation. I'm not ashamed. I just need my pills. Peace and quiet, that's all. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Albert would like to know he's been accepted by the wet loot boys. How are you, boy? I'm not your... I found the recruiter you were expecting. He's dead, but he carried a note. The wet boot boys have accepted your application. I knew it! I told you I was tough enough. I'll be free soon. Free? You may soon find out that you have simply traded one set of shackles for another. You're all fancy words, none of which concern me. Go worry about someone else. I'm fine and I have a future here. Do you know? Never heard of. Goodbye, young Me? I'll not die in some piss-stinking alley reeking worse than a weak old lavvy. There it is. Ha, mo, nil. 
for severe anxiety and nervous disposition. Thanks for nothing, I'll fart. I'll get a good price for your precious pills. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. It is clear that you have a somewhat contentious relationship with your father. Oh, really? Nothing clever to say. He's an alcoholic. That must make life difficult. Oh, no, it's perfectly fine. No money, no home, no friends to lend a hand. My father should have died in France. War can change you. I have seen many men who have lost their wits on the battlefield. I'm not going to lose any more time with that drunken ass. Me? I prefer to take my chances with the wet boot boys. Why did you try to steal your father's medication? Why shouldn't I? What has he ever done to earn my respect? Your father seems to hold quite a grudge against you. The man's a walking gym ball. I ain't seen him sober since he got back from the war. But the gun? Now that is a surprise. Why do you want to join a gang, Al? I'm going to spend the rest of my life sleeping under bridges. I understand that living in poverty may be a doorway to a life of crime, but you are still young enough to turn back. I'm not a child anymore. I'm old enough to do what needs to be done. Crime may seem easy, a quick way to riches, but it's a quicker way to the end of a rope. My world may be small, Mr. Fancy Pants, but at least here I'm king. Admit it. You stole the drugs to prove yourself to the gang. Of course I did. The wet boot boys got it sorted. Territory, respect, money. They'll take me in now. Really? Are you sure about that? I don't see them. I was supposed to meet one of their boys to prove I'm not a loser. Maybe something happened. Goodbye, young. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. Did you know of your son's plans to join the Wet Boot Boys gang? <sighs> Barely survived the war, just to come back and see my wife die of the flu, and my son turn into a petty thug. Protect your son, Benjamin. Don't you see? Whatever your quarrels, his salvation could be yours. According to him, everything's my fault. We've nothing left to say or to save. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure... I swear I... Your suspicions concerning Albert were legitimate. But were you sure he was guilty when you shot him? Tell me the truth, Benjamin. No, I wasn't. I just went mad without realizing what I was doing. My God. I almost shot him. You had better speak to Albert. You need to clear the air. He has to understand what you endured, and you must listen to him talk about his pain. I'm afraid it's too late. I pointed a gun at him for the sake of a few pills. Do you know Nurse Fanny? I'm really? Word is... What? Nothing. You don't know sin. You mean... Yeah. Perhaps I'm a gun out. 